Welcome to the Ultimate Meta Sounds Reference Guide, Arrays Part 3. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the num, set, and subset nodes. These three nodes come in all types and are designed to accept an array input. Let's start with the num node. This is a very basic node and has only one single purpose. When connected to an array, it will output how many elements are available in that array. From here, you can use this information however you wish, so long as the next node in your signal flow has an integer input. Moving on to the set node, this node allows you to hot swap single elements in your array. After inputting our array, we can use the number value in the index slot to determine which array element we'll be targeting. We then use the value field to input a new element in the desired index. For this example, let's use a five element array containing the letters A, B, C, D, and E. We're going to tell our set node that when triggered, set index three's value to the letter Z. When we hit play and start triggering the random get, we'll see that we are retrieving all the letters from the original array. Without stopping the meta sound, Let's trigger our set node and continue to trigger the random get. We'll find that the letter Z has now replaced the letter D. There are two important things to note here. First, the set node must be triggered first before the replacement will happen. If the meta sound stops, you will need to re-trigger this node before you see the change again. This segues right into the second thing to note and that is the fact that triggering the set node does not actually alter the array. If we run this test again, but this time include a second random get to pull directly from the array, you'll notice that in this signal path, we get our altered array. But if we pull directly from the array, we still see the letter D instead of the letter Z that we replaced above. Lastly, let's look at the subset node. This node allows us to pull elements only from a specific section of the array. Again, we'll use our ABCDE array and we'll tell our subset node to only retrieve indexes between one and three. If we hit play and trigger our subset, we find that our random get will only output the letters B, C, and D, which are sitting in index spots one, two, and three respectively. And just like with our set node, this does not alter the original array. We are still able to reference the entire contents of the array from a separate path. To see the full list of videos in this reference guide, click the link to the playlist in the description below.